hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video guys I'm going to be doing my daughter's hair she is 10 months old and I'm just starting on dry hair because I didn't wash her hair before I did this she had um she had on some uh, big braids before so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and I'm using this um, before I start I spray her hair with some water and then I apply the skin to um, leave-in conditioner for kids and some coconut oil on her hair and then I comb through it very gently and I also use a demon brush to um, detangle her hair guys this video was crazy to film because she never want me to touch her hair she doesn't like when I touch her hair so this was a struggle for sure but <laughs> we made it to you guys anyway I'm just um, detangling her hair. This is not like any special hairstyle. I just wanted to show you guys how I do her hair on a like regular. I do this like about a once a week or so. And I use the shining gem to um, part her hair. Yeah, I do this about once a week. As y'all see, she's crying. This is just a regular hairstyle like I would do on her hair on a daily, well not daily, but often. Not the same hairstyle, but this is like how I do it. Like, cause she doesn't want me to do her hair, so I have to do something quick and cute. Cause we was going out that day, um, her hair was looking very messy, so I didn't want to take her out like that, so I had to do it. So yeah, I'm just gonna do two big um, little pom pom at the top and then the little part at the front is just for a braid. And then I'm gonna do two, um, I'm gonna do three um, braids at the back. I, I call them braids, but they're not called braids. It's like, you guys will see what I'm talking about. They're not braids. Anyway, I'll just let you guys watch from here. And whenever I have something to say, I'll pop in real quick and say it. All right. Oh yes, yeah. so like I said, her hair wasn't washed that day, so that's why you guys see the little white stuff at, um, on her hair. It's from you know when you leave, when you have like rubber bands on her hair, and then you take it out, and then your hair starts. You know you have the little white. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, my baby was sick that day, you guys. She had a cold. That's why you guys keep seeing her little nose is messy with snot. I kept cleaning it, but like. I, I didn't see that it kept coming because I was busy doing her hair and she was all over the place. So I didn't really, um, I catch some of it. Like I, I kept cleaning her nose because, you know, she was sick. But you guys, if you guys saw a little bit, don't, don't come for her. She was sick. Okay, leave my baby alone. So yeah, I use these um, little hair ties. They're like the little kids ones. They're not they're not gonna break her hair or anything like that. They're very um, soft and it's really easy to use. So, and here I'm just making sure her hair is not tight. I didn't do them tight, but I also make just making sure. And at the back of her hair is bald, you guys. Just like my son. My son had this big thing bald spot at the back of her hair. She has the same. I don't know what's what it is, but. That's how my kids come out of me. Ball at the back. <laughs> anyway, whenever I do hair, I make sure I try my best to like cover that bald spot. That's why you guys see me doing like a little triangle part, and then I'm gonna try to cover it. You got you all will see. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I always try to cover it whenever I do hair. But another thing, the parts are not straight because, like I said, she wasn't. She wasn't having it. Right here, you guys, you're not seeing all the fussiness that was happening. Because I cut them out. Well, most of it. But it was it was, it was was a lot. That's why the parts are not super straight. You know, I, I usually do her hair when she's sleeping. But like I said, since we were going out that day, I didn't do it when she was sleeping. Because, you know, we was going out. So I had to get her ready. 
but on the regular when I after I wash her hair I do it when she's sleeping because she doesn't want me to touch it. even when she's sleeping it's a it's tough it takes me a long time to do it So for this one right here, I'm doing two, after I put the little hair tie, I do two separate braids, just a little, give it a little spice, you know, to jazz it up a bit. <laughs> By the way guys, if you guys want to see more videos of me doing the kids hair, let me know. I for sure will re record that for you guys. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing these type of videos. That's why I don't really, you know, push them out like that. But if you guys um, want to see how I do your hair, every time I do it, I'll tr I don't guarantee it's going to work because she don't want me to do it. But I will try to do um, record it. I've tried before when she... Um, I've tried to record her hair before, but it didn't work out because, you know, she was fussy and I had to wait um, for her to sleep to do it. Look at those palm trees, damn! By the way guys, if it looks like I'm touching her hair rough, I am not, I promise you. Um, the video is fast forward, that's why, you know, when it's fast forward, it looks like everything is moving fast and I'm just like doing my thing on her hair, but I promise you I'm not, I'm being very, very, very gentle with her hair. I make sure not to do her hair tight or like to comb it when I'm combing it, I make sure to hold the, the roots and like, you know, she's a baby, so I'm not trying to hurt her, so, you know stuff like that just wanted to um put that out there see what i was talking about you guys the way i part her hair it ends up um covering that bald spot i was talking about if you look at the back of your head, you're not gonna see that bald spot. You're not gonna know it's there. Don't want to miss me. This is all you need. Be your everything, and I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. Not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love. So I use these little barrettes, I, don't, I think that's what they're called, to decorate your hair. I used to, my mom used to decorate my hair like that when I was a little girl, so it just brings back the memories. And I, I use this jar, this cookie jar, to put our, all of her hair accessories in it. I remember when I was a little girl, I always had like a little jar or something with my hair stuff in it. And just, oh my god, this just brings me back to when I used to... Before, when I was going to school, my mom would do my hair. She would pull out the, whatever it was, a bin or something, cookie jar or something, and do my hair every morning.
So yeah, for right here at the front, I'm just doing one braid, like just for to jazz it up a bit, you know, just one braid going down towards her face. And as you guys can see, she pulling me, she's dragging me, you guys, she wasn't having it. <laughs> I'm just using this little bow thing to decorate it. So guys, what I realized, right? I use these bowls, like these two bowls on her hair, on the little pom-pom parts. This one, right? It ended up being too big. I realized that after, after um, the video was recorded. So I usually use one on her head, like one in the middle. But to the, this day, I decided to use two, and it ended up being a little too much. So I ended up. Um, the ones that's on her face, I ended up putting it putting two where the big white bows are. So anyway, I'll try to enter the picture. But yeah, so this is pretty much it, you guys. This is my baby's hair. It turned out pretty, pretty cute still. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more video of my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful daughter. And turn on your post notifications so you guys can be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.